Hey guys, what's going on? Cody from Matt Vapes Easily here, and I got a new video for you today on a new device that we just got in. It is the Vaporesso Sveecher. The Sveecher. <laughs> so, this is the newest product from Vaporesso. Um, it comes with the energy tank. <laughs> So you're going to get the switcher mod in this, the energy tank, of course, two coils, uh, extra Pyrex tube, you know, you got to be whipping that Pyrex, and then the uh, USB charger cable, but of course, as always, as always, as always, as always, as always, don't charge this garbage through the dang gum port. Like, come on, people. Come on, wake up, people. Because, like, your box just gets hot, your batteries get hot, you leave it sitting on there too long, and it ends up tearing it up. Like, I've never had a problem with a Vaporesso product. But man's never hot. All right. <laughs> but um, just if you buy an external charger, it's like 20 bucks. It's like 20 bucks. You could charge those batteries and it'd be fine. So the big deal with this thing is the case is replaceable. They've got like these swappable cases on it. Um, some of them have optional lighting effects, not all of them. Um, it's got the most beautiful 510 connection I've ever seen in my life. That thing is gorgeous. And um, the, uh, it's also updated with the newest chip, it's the Omniboard 2.6. Um, and then of course it's got all kinds of uh, accessories and stuff for it as well. Yeah, so Riley just showed you that. Um, but uh, just to note, uh, the mod size, it's 53. 53 by 89 by 31 millimeters. The tank, which is not this tank, I've got my Cascade on it, because Cascade for life. Uh, but the tank itself is 26.5 across and 56 millimeters tall. Now, there's been some debate on that, because apparently at the very bottom of this, it's it, it measures out to 25 millimeters. The airflow ring reaches 26.5, but then the glass only reaches 25 millimeters. So that's kind of a daggum law. But that's all right. <laughs> but that's all right. Um, I still like Vaporessa. I think they're a solid company. Um, the tank itself weighs about 66 grams. Uh, the mod itself weighs about 202 grams. Um, but overall, hold on, we got a customer walking in. So uh, we're going to dive into the box. So when you open this box up, you're going to find this beautiful packaging. I swear, I swear that somebody from Apple is helping them design these packages because look, you just grab this little tab and everything falls out. <laughs> but if you open it normally, it's not going to fall out. But uh, that's where your device would be, but this is actually the uh, newest version they have of it. It's the invisible uh, uh, camo that they have on it. But uh, tank right here, uh, your glass, your O-rings, everything like that. Alright, so, uh, and then you also get your spare coil, of course, so the mod that came in this one, because this is the, uh, this is supposed to be the yellow one, so this is the actual mod right here, so there it is, as you see, mooey mooey beautiful, so there it is. Um, the cool thing about these is when you pop your door open here, if you pull it all the way down, you can actually slide this sleeve off, and so this is the big deal, the big thing with this. Um, basically, you can buy other sleeves for it. Uh, if you look in there, that looks like the LED stripping in there. I'll show you on mine. But then you just slide that sleeve on and click it closed, and you are good to go. So the uh, battery door on the bottom here, I... I've already bought one of these. This is mine. Uh, I like this blue and red. I was just like, I gotta have this. Um, so I, I went ahead and picked it up and threw the cascade on it. Um, but the battery door, as I've been using it, uh, the battery door hasn't popped open or anything. Even if I set it down hard or anything like that, I haven't had an issue with the battery door popping open. So that's great. Um, the reason I bought this was actually because my Gen 3 decided that, you know, it wanted to take a suicide jump off of my notebook when I was walking to the back room back it's there. It's because he doesn't know how to take care of his stuff. Yeah, that's Mine it. Mine works completely fine. Another customer. Alright, so yeah, I went ahead and bought the mod. Um, I can't remember where I was in this video, but I'm just going to keep going. Shh. So it's got LEDs on it. So uh, you can change the color of those LEDs, so I've just got mine to turn on when I fire it because leaving those on all the time is ridiculous in my opinion. 
Um, but uh, I got the cascade on it, so I put the cascade tank on it, and it'd be, it be fogging. I got it at 120 watts. But, um, shh, I'm trying to shoot a video. So, anyways, anyways, um, it's got the famous three three button options on your uh, on your display here. So wattage up, wattage down. Um, another thing I like is if you one two three click the fire button, it'll keep you from being able to press these buttons. One two three four five will turn it off. One two three four five will turn it back on. And then if you hold down this button, you can view the menu. So you've got like your variable wattage. You can choose normal, soft, or high. Um, you've got your variable temperature control for stainless steel, nickel, titanium, TCR. You've got two modes for that. Then you've got bypass, which basically makes it hit like a tube mod. Uh, then you've also got your system. Oh, no. I hit the wrong button. So then you've got your system set here. And then you can set the, uh, the time, uh, brightness, your puff counter, your smart on and off. So what the smart mode is, is basically you can turn it on on that. And whatever resistance your coil is, it'll kind of adjust for you what your wattage should be. You can adjust how long your screen's on, the light, uh, basically how bright it is. Which, this screen has a, it's beautiful. Like, I've actually got it turned down because I'm afraid it's like killing the battery. But, let me uh, turn it up and on, or no, that's not the right light. Just kidding. That's the one for your, uh, for your, for your display. My bad. So, uh... Yeah, I had it turned down for what? I meant brightness. Brightness is where this needs to be at. So, like, this is pretty much all the way down, and you can turn it up, and, like, you're going to be able to see this anywhere, like, in the dark, in the light, in the bright, in the night, anytime. On a train, on a plane, even if you're going insane, down the road, in a cart, with Bart, that'd be Simpson. Um, but that's that's pretty much everything. Um, it shows you your little your little curve here. Um, it's got your puff counter. As you can see, I just got this. I've only got 141 puffs on it right now, but that number will jump up. And then when you're not using it, it'll go to this display mode. So like it's it's got uh, the time on here, um, which is very 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 wrong. It says it's 207 on Saturday, and it's actually 447. <laughs> So I need to fix that. <laughs> um, it's also got the uh, the date, of course, um, the PM, and then yeah, like it says your day. Um, you can also set it to an analog clock, but it's you know I can read an analog clock, but it's just easier to read a digital clock. <laughs> so I set it to that. Um, really, I, read I can read an analog <laughs> clock. Thank you. But um, that's, that's pretty much everything on it. I mean, if you have any questions or anything, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Um, the output wattage, I didn't talk about the wattage. It's 5 to 220 watts. The uh, OL, uh, OLED screen is 96.96 uh, .96 inches. Um, the resistance range is anywhere from a 0 .05 all the way up to 5 ohm. You can control the temperature from 100 to 315 degrees Celsius or 200 to 600 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, and then I told you about all the modes and stuff. It uses two 18650s. It is a beautiful mod. It's a little bit heavy, but I like something heavy. It makes me feel like it's expensive. Um, and like I said, they've got a ton of adjustable, or they got a ton of plates um, that you can just swap out for this. So you can change it to whatever you want. But I saw this red and blue and I was like, oh, that's so awesome. That's so sweet. So I had to get it. But um, that's really everything I've got for you. This is already a nine minute video and you know, we're not trying to take too much time here. I'm not trying to pull them 10 minute you videos. You want to get the 10 minute videos oh, yeah, to get I need monetized. To, yeah, I got to do the 10 minute videos to get monetized. I'm just going to walk to the back real <laughs> fast. <laughs> but that's what I got for you. If you have any questions, you know what to do with them. Still got 40 seconds. Here, look, I forgot to show you this. There's also a charge cord in here. So you open this, this little box here. It's got your literature and your charge cord. And they give you a lot of literature. There's a lot of literature in here. There's, it's in like every language you can imagine. Like that. Then you've of course got Eng English, which I can't speak. And then you've also got Spanish and...
and probably 500 other languages. Oh, yeah, I see some Russian on there. Um, then this I has your warranty card and everything. All right, 10 minutes. See you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is your warranty card. Um, so, other than that, that's what I got for you. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I'll be sure to get back to you. Deuce. Deuce, deuce, pocket rocket, peace out, home girl slice. scout, home slice.